Hey, this is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And today I am gonna show you the all new 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara High Altitude Edition. This is one of the first ones that we've ever gotten on our lot for the JLs. And uh, we're gonna do a walk around here. This one does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. It's gonna give you 285 horsepower, 22 miles per gallon on the highway. 19 miles per gallon on the city for an average of 20. Not bad for a full-sized Wrangler. Billet silver is the color. Really good looking color on this Wrangler. And um, we shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have those HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. So right away I want to point out that we do have the color match hardtop, the color match fenders. You get the blacked out Jeep lettering and Wrangler lettering on the side as well as the trail rated badge. Um, color matched mirrors. You get the 20 inch painted black alloy rims. And you also get Bridgestone Dueler HL 275-55 R20 tires. Kind of a highway tread pattern on those tires. Get the blacked out inserts right there. Now the high altitude package is a $9,000 package, but you get a lot with it, um, which includes the LED lighting group. So note that you got the LED lighting group or lights in the fenders, the halo lights, the LED headlamps themselves, and then the LED fog lamps. You get the painted front bumper, the gloss black inserts around those fog lights and headlights as well as the grill inserts are gloss built black as well. Of course you get the tow hooks on there, color match fenders. Do you get the step bars with the Sahara package, color matched door handles, the hinges are all color matched as well. We'll take a quick look at the original window sticker here. I'm not going to go over this too much just because uh, to save time here but that high altitude package is a $9,105 option. You get the heavy duty brakes, the Dana M210 wide HD tube front axle. You get the 8.4 with the navigation system, which gives you five years Sirius XM traffic and travel link. You also get Sirius Guardian services for a year, as well as Sirius radio for a year. You also get the Alpine premium audio system, which gives you the factory subwoofer and upgraded speakers, Google and N Google, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. You also get the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, um, the navigation, which we said. You get the cool leather trimmed bucket seats here with the uh, copper colored stitching. And then you get the LED lighting group, like I was saying, the safety group, which gives you blind spot and um, the backup camera and the uh, backup parking sensors as well. The leather wrapped shift knob, park handle, and um, 4x4 shift knob. You also get a remote keyless entry, enter and go system, and that park sense uh, rear parking system. The cold weather group gives you is a $995 option that gives you heated seats and heated steering wheel and remote start. Anti-spin differential, 8-speed automatic transmission, and the 3.6 liter Pentastar is a $1,250 option. Total MSRP is 54330 If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website where you can check that out there. Uh, 22 highway, 19 city for an average of 20, and then your safety ratings right there. Like I said, I don't want, get, don't want to get into that too much just because we got a lot to cover on this Wrangler. Four wheel disc brakes on here. The rear bumper is color matched as well. And notice that those parking sensors are even painted the same color. You get the LED license plate light, the tow hook back here, the gloss black rim. You get the little Jeep logo on that. Um, they got a cover here, so what would always happen is you would like spray these down with a degreaser or your tire shine or whatever, and they would actually drip onto your uh, rear bumper or just from the rain and stuff, and it would discolor your rear bumper. Now they've got this guard, so that doesn't happen. LED tail lamps as well. Back storage area. It's pretty similar to the old Wranglers. Uh, you do get the Alpine premium sound system with the factory subwoofer, the painted uh, bars back here. 
Hard top comes off the same way, four bolts on each side, two quick disconnects, so you got a disconnect holder there. And then there is storage under here. So towards the end of the JKs, they started putting the subwoofer under here. Well, you lost all that storage space. I'm glad they brought it back. Door hinges, roof, and windshield bolts go in there. And then that is where your jack tools are. You got a little badge back here for the wheelbase and overall length for the two door, four door, and then water fording capabilities. So uh, 30 inches at five miles per hour. And those tailgates, they shut so smooth now. Um, and they're always gonna close real nice. They're a little bit lighter than they used to be. You have the color matched gas door. And that hard top, of course, is color matched all the way across. You do get blind spot monitoring in the mirrors and heated mirrors, and I'm sure that's where the blind spot sensor is. Inside here, those really, really good looking seats. It has the custom stitching on it. Black leather, both these seats are heated. You get that copper stitching uh, throughout the vehicle, including the uh, handle for the backrest there. Lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheel. You get the power locks and mirrors. And as we hop inside the vehicle, you can see that it has the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, um, your compass, outside temp display. You can change those corners to read whatever you want, basically. And the screen is pretty customizable. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, get that copper stitching on there as well. Cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. Just a really good looking design here. And we'll get to the radio in just a second, but notice you get that copper stitching and that leather wrap on the dash here. And speaking of that radio, 8.4 4C radio. I have the off-road pages up right now just because it takes a second for those to load and I, I want to save as much time as I can. But you got your pitch and roll there, you got your accessory gauges, and you also have your drive uh, train there. Steering angle, and those wheels will turn as you turn the steering wheel, which is really cool. And then um, also if you're in four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive, that'll change as you do that. So you got four-wheel drive high there. And uh, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities. You also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities where you can project your cell phone to the screen. So if you've got Waze or Google Maps, you can project it right to the screen and have a different navigation system on there if you don't like the factory one. And we got a video to show you how to do that in the upper right hand part of the screen. Click that and check us out there. But otherwise, you got your climate controls. Notice you do get dual climate control and your heated seats, heated steering wheel. My favorite part about the new radios, the HD backup camera, dynamic grid lines. Look how crystal clear that backup camera is. Very, very nice. And um, so you have that as well. If you don't like doing the climate controls up there, you can do them down here as well, um, as well as the heated steering wheel and seat buttons. Start stop capabilities, you can turn those off. Stability control, backup parking sensors, and downhill assist control. Power windows, you do get a media center here with an AUGS USB and USB C. That's where you would hook up your cell phone for that Android Auto or Apple CarPlay 4x4 shifter on the floor. You do get the 8 speed automatic center console shifter there with the little Jeep logo on top. You get the very chunky keyless entry with the remote start, it has the flip out key, which I really like and just a very heavy, heavy duty key. Anyways, you get the stitching on the door handles and the passenger seat, LED lights on the interior here. You also have the quick releases for that, those hard top pieces. You get SOS and assist buttons and your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. We're starting to run short on time here, so I'm gonna quickly check out the back. You do get the child safety locks on the back doors. You get that awesome stitching on the back seats here as well. You do get the latch child safety system for all your child car seat needs. This comes down, uh, cup holders and the headrest there, kind of neat. And then these seats do fold down almost completely flat, which is nice if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff. And the nice, other nice part is those headrests stay down if you don't want them up. You can put just those headrests down like so. 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs and two USB-Cs back here as well. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, rams, you name it, we got it. Go to our website, www.summitauto.com. You can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, check out all the videos and 
like, share, and subscribe, and check out all the links on the screen.